In this video, you will learn all the details of the ordering process, its payment and delivery. The following sections will be explained and discussed in detail. Shop, my purchases, my stock. First of all, you have to get to your personal office by typing devita.store in the search bar of your internet browser. After entering the address and clicking on it, you will see either the main page of your personal office or the page of authorization and registration. If you have previously registered an account, enter your login information on the left side of the page. You will need a login and password. In addition, you can click the checkbox with the phrase Remember. In this case, you won't have to enter your login information every time you get to this page. If you have not previously registered the personal account, please do it by filling all the necessary data on the right side of the page. On how to do it correctly, you can learn in the previous video. After entering your login and password, press the Enter button and then you will be moved to your personal office. Then, to get to the store, use the Store button at the top of the page. Once it is loaded, you will be taken to the online store. The store has three sections – All Items, Featured and New Items. Each section has a filter that will help sort products by type which will help you quickly find the products you are looking for. Between the sections and filters, you can see a slider button, by clicking on which you activate the ability to see the number of accrued first-line bonuses and points. To the right of the slider button, there is a search bar to search for products by name. After selecting the item you are interested in, click on the Buy button to add the item to the shopping cart. After adding an item to the basket, you can continue shopping or go straight to the payment. If you clicked Continue Shopping but no additional items were added, the button to go to the basket can be found at the very top of the page. In the basket, you can see the following data – order number, photo of purchased products, the name of the item, its price, the number of items added to the basket, the total cost of each item in the basket, and the button that allows you to remove the items from the cart. Please note that if you want to buy fewer items in one position, use the option to adjust the quantity, not the delete button. You can return to the list of products by pressing the Store button in the main menu of the site. Below the list of products, you can find the Delivery section, where you can choose a convenient way to receive the goods. There are two – Delivery to the address and Pickup from the company warehouses. On the left side of the section, you need to select the appropriate method and, according to your choice, fill in the right side of the section. If you choose delivery as a method of receiving the goods, you need to fill in all the fields marked with red asterisks. These are data such as country, city, street, house, apartment, phone number, and postal code. You can read more about shipping terms by clicking Payment in the main menu of the site. Please make sure that the warehouse is responsible for the shipment of your goods before you order pickup from the company's warehouse. You can do this by contacting the company by the contacts listed at the very top of the page or by clicking on the contact button in the main menu of the site. If the desired method of receiving the goods is pickup from the company warehouse, select the appropriate office of the company in the drop-down list. There are a total of three offices for pickup, one in Offenbach, Germany, one in Athens, Greece, and one in Limassol, Cyprus. Click the Ready button when all the required data in the shipping section has been filled in. After clicking this button, you will be automatically moved to the final section of the Order Placement – Payment section. On the left side of this section, you will see a summary of your order, in order of appearance the chosen delivery method, office address, the address of warehouse for the pickup, 
the order price, and the shipping cost. Please note that the shipping costs are determined after the warehouse processes the order. On the right side you can see information about the maximum number of bonuses available to write office payment for the purchase, as well as data about the status of the bonus and main accounts. Under these data there is a field where you need to enter the number of bonuses that you want to write off as payment for the order. One bonus equals one unit of currency. Please note that up to 50% of each order can be paid with bonuses if they are available. By entering the amount of bonuses to be deducted, you will see how the total amount to be paid changes. All that remains is to choose the desired method of payment for the rest of the order. There are two ways to pay for the order. Charge your credit or debit card through the JCC payment system or use the main account of your personal office if you have previously funded it. Pay attention that when paying by plastic cards, the payment system commission is also deducted. Charge amount is displayed on the left side in the payment commission line. If you select main account in the drop-down list, the remaining amount, if available, will be deducted from your main account. You can learn about kinds of accounts there are and how to fund them in the previous video about the personal office. After selecting the payment method, click on the order button below. After that, a pop-up window with the full details of the order will be displayed. Carefully read all the data and press the pay button. You will be taken to the JCC payment system page where you will need to enter your card details to pay for the order. If you are paying from your main account selected from the drop-down list, you will again see a pop-up window with the order details. Press Confirm. After confirmation, you will see a new pop-up window letting you know that the purchase was successful. You will also see your order number. After that, you can either continue shopping or go straight to activating the products that you purchased. In this case, we proceed to the activation of the product. You will be automatically moved to the My Stock section in the personal office. As a reminder, this section allows you to see the products you currently have in stock, as well as track your product activation history. The first time you open this section, you can see all the items you purchased without sorting. To sort by specific product groups, use the filter bar. Pay attention to the structure of the table with goods. It is divided into the following columns. Checkbox column. Used to select all items in the list or uncheck all items. Use the checkboxes next to each item to select individual items. Photo column shows a picture of the product. Name shows the name of the purchased product. Quantity the number of inactivated items you have. To activate a purchased item, check it using the checkbox to the left of its image. Under the table, click Activate Selected. It's important to know that the activation of purchased products, including those purchased as part of the promotions of the month, is not limited in time. Purchased products can be activated at any time when needed. However, keep in mind that the first-line bonuses, as well as points, are not credited to you and your structure until the purchased products are activated. You will see a pop-up window where you have to enter the username of the recipient if you activate the purchase for someone other than yourself. Attention! Always check the correctness of the entered login with the appropriate button. Or click the Activate on Myself button. In this case, the field will be automatically filled with your account data. Please keep in mind that if you activate purchased items for yourself, you will renew your login. If your personal account has expired or is expiring, you will not receive first-line bonuses and points. In this case, only the sponsor will get first-line bonuses and points will be received by your sponsor and all partners above you in the structure. Then, it is necessary to select the number of activated products. In this case, it will be one unit of product. Check all the data of the action and press Confirm Activation. After your actions, you will see them in the activation history. In addition, in this section you can see the history of product activations on your account for any period of time. To do this, select the desired period in the filtering window.
In the last part of this video, we will show you how to interact with the My Purchases section. We know from the previous video that this section helps you keep track of your purchases in your personal account. The filtering interface allows you to see the orders divided by the existence of items in them and by the period of execution of these orders. When you look at the table, you will see all the orders placed regardless of whether these orders have been paid or activated, the date of placement of these orders, the amount of the orders, their shipping costs, what type of payment was selected for each order, how the order was paid, fully from the main account, from the main and bonus accounts, through the JCC payment system, or by other means, as well as the order status, whether order was paid or not. All order numbers will be highlighted in blue. Click on them, you will find out the consistency of the order. In the next video, the My Binary section will be explained in details, along with the ways of working with it. Stay tuned for the updates.